I'll take us back to the beginning. How did you become a Christian? Yeah, I, I was thinking of that as, a, as a, you flagged up that question. It, it was it was a, as a consequence of a game of cricket, if that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I was I was ten years ten years of age, um, brought up in a Christian home. My dad was a Anglican rector, um, so yeah, you know, being exposed to the gospel from the earliest age. Uh, but your know, dad would regularly b- bring um, well-known speakers across from from the mainland, from England, to speak in in the little parish where we where he was. And there was one um, one Church of England canon. That's that's a a level of the hierarchy within the the C of E structure. Uh, who was just a great evangelist. He'd served in South America. He had a passion for the gospel. Um, he often advertised his evangelistic events as come and be fired by a cannon. Um, so he came and stayed with us for a week. Uh, and, and you know, he, he took regular time to go out into the garden and play cricket with me. Um, and and you know, he always let me win. Um, and, and he showed me how to do it better. And I just thought as a 10-year-old, you know, here's, here's a, a grown-up, here's an adult. And he has, he's got time for, for me as a 10-year-old. Yeah, so he came back a, a year later, and uh, you know we we just sort of picked up from where we left off in conversation. I was was at the tail end of being ten at that stage, um, and and he said one afternoon, yeah, let's sit down and just chat, and and he began to talk about the faith, and and he said you you obviously know the gospel because you've been brought up with it, um, but what have you, what have you done with the gospel? And I, I, yeah, to be honest, I never really thought of it like that. It was I thought it was a matter of just knowing the facts, the details. And 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 he just he didn't pressurize me, but he just he said, you, you think about it. There's an invitation in the gospel. There's a call for us to actually put our trust in the Lord Jesus Christ in order to to receive this gift of salvation. And um and I did that that afternoon. You know, I, I, as a as a ten year old, I said, Lord, you know, I, I know. I'm a sinner, um, and, and please, please come and, and rescue me, um, be my saviour. Um, mm-hmm. That was the turning point in terms of the outworking of new life. Yeah, yeah, brilliant, brilliant. When did you first feel called into the ministry, and, and tell us what happened next? Yeah, well, I, so I, I came to faith in February 1970, age 10. So I, January 1970, age 10. And six months later, I was sent off to boarding school, um, and uh, and and it was a pretty pretty hard environment. So I suddenly found myself the only Christian um, in in my year group, as far as I knew, uh, and I was in a dorm of ten other guys who were anything but Christian. In my naivete, I thought, you know, what are Christians supposed to do? You're supposed to read and pray. So you know, there before we went to bed each night, we'd read my Bible. And kneel down and pray at the bedside, you know, to, to the ridicule of those around me. Um, and, and for the first two years, I didn't have any Christian friends per se. Um, but in my second year, uh, three of my best friends became Christians, and and we we started meeting together for prayer and and just to read the Bible together. L- you know, long story short, that that group of four of us within the space of three years between a group became a group of fifty. Um, and and we were the ones that were doing the leading of the Bible study. So I gave my first talk at the age of fourteen. I spoke right. from closing verses of Acts seventeen. Um, and and you know, to my shock and horror, four little guys came to me afterwards saying, "Okay, how do we become Christians?" Um, and I effectively said, "I need to go and phone a friend, and I'll, I'll, <laughs> I'll get back and tell you." Um, so I just I just I just find myself from that point onwards. Um, having opportunities to lead Bible studies, to give talks, to get involved in outreach. Um, and then one February afternoon, um, you know, so Saturday was the day you got let out of boarding school um, for free time with family. Uh, family members came up to take me out. We were walking along the beach on the north coast of Ireland. And we were discussing, what are you going to do with your life? You're 15, you've got O-levels coming up. What happens next? What's the goal? And the only thought that kept coming back was, you know, I want to be a minister. I want to preach the gospel. Um, right, yeah. that, was, that was the first inkling of it. And then it, it just, with various stages along the way, that, that sense of calling was confirmed and, and led to being sent to train. Yeah. 